What is up guys, it's your boy Swalam here, back with another Dragonfly to gold making video. So today we have a pretty massive video for you, I'm going to be showing you several locations where you can get some white items that are transmogable in the patch 10.0.5. So basically you can buy these right now and get them right now, and you can even sell them right now as well for people that are preparing ahead of time, or you can even sell it when the patch is out, and this will generate a lot of gold for you over time. We are selling transmog though, so whenever you're dealing with transmog, you might want to expect some slow sales, but the more unique items you have on the auction house at all times, the more sales you will potentially get. So today I'll be showing you three different vendor locations and a rare location, all in the same zone, so it's basically going to be very quick for all of you to get all these weapons, and it's arguably like of all of my videos on white items, this one might be the best one in terms of the value and also the time it takes you to get these items, based on all four of these methods being in the same zone, it's really quick to just fly around and grab everything. Now before I get into the video though, I do want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's picked up my Dragonfly to Gold guide so far, where we even have an extended document of several white and grey items that you can farm for in the open world and also get from vendors just like these ones, so if you want access to even more white and grey items that I haven't made videos about, and some of which I will not even make videos about, well we have a full document of all of the most valuable ones uh, listed in that gold guide, so when you buy the gold guide just join the discord server, and in that Discord server is where you will find that uh, extra document, it's a Google document, of white and grey items that you can obtain right now and sell for a lot of gold and some of them are selling for hundreds of thousands of gold as well. Now when you buy the guide, like I just said, you get access to a private Discord server and in that Discord server you also get early access to videos and exclusive videos as well. So it's a lot of things bundled into one purchase if that sounds interesting to you and if you want to make more gold this expansion, definitely consider checking that out through the link down below, and you can even use the code Solheim to get it for half price. With that being said, let's take a look at these vendors, and to start this off, we are in Elwyn Forest. So everything in this video will be based on Elwyn Forest, so all you have to do is go to Elwyn Forest on an Alliance character, and you'll be able to obtain all these items I'm about to show you super super quick. So first off, we have North Shire Valley, and here you have four different vendors, uh, well three different vendors in one location, and I use Usually just to uh, care about the uh weapon vendor here because he's selling weapons and some of them have a huge sell price. You can see right now they're selling for 137,000 gold on my server with a region market value average of 59,000. Short Sword sells for a lot of gold as well, pretty much all of them have a huge, huge price and some of you might be saying why would this sell when, it's a, when you can buy it from a vendor and I'll talk more about that at the end of the video for those of you who are interested in why these ones will sell, and like, let's just put it this way, if you can sell one, you already recoup with like more than a hundred thousand times your investment, you're investing 72 copper to potentially get 200,000, so in my opinion there's no reason not to buy them and at least give it a try, but like I just said I'll talk more about why at the end of the video. So first of all I usually buy between two and three of each item here, just in case they sell, so I have a backup just sitting around, just in case, and now after you bought those weapons you can go to these two vendors as well, where this guy you can buy armor and shields, so you can buy the male items basically, and you can see they don't sell for the same as the weapons, but still you're putting down 39 copper as an investment and potentially getting between 5 and 12,000 gold back. And I will say even the weapons, even though they are selling for a lot right now, I do expect them to kind of go back down in price after a while, but um, yeah, you can make a lot of gold by all of them. Now secondly you have the cloth and leather merchant, so here you will see several different ones that have a pretty good sell price to be honest, so cracked leather pieces, you also have thin cloth pieces, and once again just buy two of all of them and you can see they're selling for all the way up to 600,000 gold each apparently, but once again I'm not expecting it to sell for that much, but I am expecting it to sell for tens of thousands. So. There we go, that's vendor location number one with three vendors in one location. Now let's go to number two. 
Now the second one is a treasure located in Elven Forest that you probably have seen before, like if you have gone to the Darkman Fair, you're pretty much always flying from the tower here and down to Goldshire, and if you have a rare add-on, like tracking add-on, it will always track this chest for you. Chances are you might have picked it up and uh, just vendored or thrown away what you got, but if you haven't, well, it's a one-time pickup per character, and you can pick this chest up while you're here right now. This will give you potentially two items you can sell, so you have the Pitted Defiant Short Sword, which you can see is selling for 1.2k on my server, and that's gone up by 41%, so that one is like the lowest value one, but you just go here like you fly from North Shire down here, pick up the chest, and then you're done. You also get the Red Defiant Mask, which is currently soulbound, but all the soulbound items will be BOE when the patch comes out, so don't worry about that. Next up, number 3 is located right here at the Tower of Azora, and over here you will have one vendor called Morley Eberlin, which is a clothier vendor, and from him you can buy some very unique looking cloth items. So for armor, these ones are selling for pretty good price I would say, like you can see the chest piece is selling for 42,000, knitted pants are selling for 171,000, and you can see they're selling for a lot of gold right now, so once again I'm just buying two of each of them just so we can have them on the auction house, and you can see this is what this would look like. A pretty unique appearance, if I can say so myself, and um, yeah, worth grabbing at least. And for some reason my add-on sold my Red Defiance mask, let me buy that one back. And there we go. So that is vendor number two, or gold making method number three, when it comes to Elwyn Forest. And we have one more to take a look at, so let's get into that one as well. So for the last vendor for today, you want to go all the way over to East Vale Logging Camp. So we started at North Shire right here. We then picked up the treasure. We then went to the Tower of Ashore. And now we're at the East Vale Logging Camp. So we're doing like a circular fashion all the way around Elwyn Forest to just pick up as many white items as possible. And over here you have Relic Finn, a bowyer vendor. Hopefully I said that correctly. So you have the Horn Wood Recurve Bow and you have the Laminated Recurve Bow. You can see this one is selling for a lot of gold right now, this one is selling for a little bit less, but, the, but both of them have a unique appearance that they don't share with anything else, which is what you want to target when it comes to white and grey transmog items. You want to have items that don't share any appearances, and that is when we can talk about why white items will sell. <clears throat> and that is because even though you, like you watching this video, or me, or any other gold maker, we might know exactly where these white items are from, but a lot of people don't. Like, one of the things I've learned throughout my gold making journey is to never uh, underestimate, like, the amount, little amount of research people are willing to do, and how lazy people are. A person, like, let's just take the average Joe, the person that will buy white transform items, he's going to go to the auction house, he's going to look for items where he hasn't collected the appearance, and as long as he has enough gold to buy them, or he thinks the actual look of the item is worth the price, he's just gonna automatically buy the item without even looking at where he can obtain the item. So some people might not even realize these bows are, appear are gotten from this NPC, and they will straight up buy it from the auction house because they don't have the appearance, and they see that it's a pretty cool appearance, maybe it's the last piece they need for their current transmog set, and they will just buy it for whatever price it is. I will say though that if a, if an, if a bow has a price of 700k, like it currently has on my survey, that might trigger that person to be like, hmm, where do you get this bow? If it's selling for this much, where do you get it? But if the bow is selling for let's say 10, 15, 000, or 20 thousand gold, a regular person that has that amount of gold will just automatically buy it and be like, eh, it looks cool, I'm just gonna buy the item, because I don't have it. And I also see some comments on these videos being like, oh, now everyone knows where to get these items, so they won't even make you any gold. And let me just put this into perspective. If this, if this video, like, it probably will get two or 3,000 views, but let's say it blows up to 10,000, that is still, like, 0.1% of the player base. 99.9% .9 of players haven't and will never watch this video. So that argument is invalid when it comes to selling transmog appearances, because not everyone that's 
gets into transmog will be into gold making, and we are a heavily focused gold making channel. Either way, that is why transmog items will sell, it is why you might want to stock up, and the more items you have, like with unique appearances or cool looking appearances, the higher chances you have to get some sales. And the potential upside here is huge, you're putting down literally coppers when it comes to buying them. This one, 80 copper, potentially 700k in sales. Like, the upsides are massive, and the investment is like minimal, you're putting almost no gold down, so I don't see any reason not to get into the white item, the white transport market, especially now when it's just coming out, there's going to be such a huge spike when it comes to demand that getting sales could be easy, but who knows, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Either way, if you are interested in white and grey transport items, Here's a video for you, and we have several of them, we have been doing two videos a day recently, showing you different ways to get white items, both through questing, farming in the open world, and looking at NPCs. And once again, if you want a full list of white and grey items to go out and look for, check out my Dragonflight Gold Guide through the link down below. Either way, that's going to be the video for today, hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did, consider dropping a like down below, and subscribe to the channel for more Dragonflight gold making content. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you again very soon.